Hello, Gemini. And good evening. It's Faith from Firesign Tarot again. All right. Energies have been real screwy the last couple of months, so I'm doing summer bonuses. Why not? I had some free time on my hands, so we're going to throw them down for you. All right. Got the sage lit. Got the cards in the upright. Oh, where'd it go? I know it's around here somewhere. There it is. Got this super cool new deck. Probably should have got this card out sooner. But this way I can talk and stuff while I'm looking for your card. So just bear with me. All right. This reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your moon rising, your Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. No difference. Cross-watchers are always welcome to the fire sign tarot table. Everybody's always welcome. I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for coming down. All right. <sighs> While you're here, if you so choose, it would be amazing because it totally helps the channel out. If you like what you see, hit the like button. Subscribe if you really like it and want to see more. And hit the notification bell so you know when I upload because it's not exactly regular. I, I, I have a regular full-time job. Some of you newbies might not know that. I have a family. I have a house to take care of. Uh, I'm a busy lady. And, you know, <laughs> this is literally... This is literally the jam and jelly on top of my bread and butter job, okay? This is <laughs> this is this is a side job for me. And I and I love it and I enjoy it. I really do. But sometimes my illness gets in the way and I can't always read when I need to be able to read and do what I need to be able to do. But we're working through that. Anywho. It all helps the channel out and it's all greatly appreciated. So before I shuffle and invoke your cards. There's a couple things we gotta go over. One, Gemini, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. And if you don't know what a life-altering decision is, if it's gonna screw your universe up, you might not want to listen to a tarot reader, okay? We are just throwing down cards. That's all I'm doing here. Having a good time. Go inside, look within yourself, and decide what you think it is you need to do, okay? It's not your reading, not your story, not your message. Leave the cards on the table and walk away. Take only what belongs to you. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for your message here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for their summer bonus reading, please. Any messages you have? their summer bonus reading. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us today. I appreciate you and I appreciate your guidance. Let's bring Gemini to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Gemini, why are you here? The Empress. Oh my. I just realized how obnoxious that light is behind me. Hold on. Mm. It's like super bright. I don't know why I keep leaving this on when I do this. And, you know, circumstances beyond my control, this is my office now. Until the room on that side of the house gets, you know, straightened out and ordered. And the other room on the other end of the house gets straightened out and ordered. Basically, we're flip-flopping rooms here. But anyway, 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 moving the studio. Back to this, the Empress. This is growth. This is expansion. Can't indicate a pregnancy. Doesn't necessarily have to. It might, though. It's birthing new things. So, we're going to go with that until we get the rest of the cards out. All right. Wheel of Fortune reversed in the past. Unfinished business. Not so distant past, ten of swords. Something came to a very painful end, but the sun shined again.
Okay. Here and now. Five of Cups. There's still sadness. Possibly still sadness in regards to someone you want growth and expansion with or something you wanted to grow and expand. Could have something to do with someone you have children with. You know, take whatever resonates, leave whatever. It's not you, it's not you. King of Wands. Could be a fire sign. I also have air. I also have water. The Empress is a Taurus card. That's Earth. The wheel is all the fixed signs. So Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Gemini. No, Taurus. Taurus. What the hell am I thinking? Gemini is mutable. You're mutable, Eric. Anyway, I don't know why I pulled five cards because I've only been doing three for the bonus, but we're going to go with it because that's what the universe called me to do. Apparently, the universe thinks that you guys need five cards pulled. So, the end, we have a chariot reverse. So, something still not moving or something being pulled in two different directions. Judging how this card looks in the upright, this way, that way. Might still be a little unclear in the future what path you're supposed to take. The other person, Seven of Pentacles. Possibly the person involved in this situation is waiting. Waiting patiently. Okay. Ace of Cups are reversed with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Nothing new. Or the new cup was spilled. Possibly this barely got off the ground. I don't know. Justice reversed. Ten of swords reversed. Something wasn't fair. Something was unjust. Something was not balanced. Something was not equal. Something was not even. Seven of Wands reversed on top of the Five of Cups. Conflict, internal battles. Someone in this scenario is very much still fighting an internal battle. Hmm. It's the other person's energy. It could be them. King of Wands, the Fool. The fool taking a leap, new paths, new directions. Three of Pentacles reversed, not coming back together. Okay. Okay, fair enough. We'll leave that for now. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands reversed. For here and now. For the other person. Okay. Well. I'm sensing there's an internal battle going on for how much longer they wait. Hmm. Okay. Let's get clarity. Time for clarity, Gemini. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards and table for Gemini, please? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the July Summer Bonus, please. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Summer Bonus.
Empress upright. Tell me about this Empress. And of course, you're going to go flying onto the floor. Ah, uh, Seven of Cups. Options. Hmm. Okay. Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Never mind the sex of the card, that's not important. The sex of the person depicted in the card is not important. It is the energy coming off the card. Okay. You've been given an option as to which one your Empress is. Or you were. Queen of Pentacles? Or the Knight of Wands? The Queen of Pentacles is the picture of stability. She is everything anyone would ever want. She got it going on. She's gorgeous. She's stable. And then you got this Knight of Wands. They ride in when they want. They ride out when they want. They really don't know what they want, except for a good time. Okay. Why the Five of Cups? Page of Pentacles. Reversed. Page of Cups reversed. I think your sadness may have something to do pages communicate. There's no communication from somebody. No offers of love, no offers of stability, no offers of apology. Knight of Cups is upright. Someone did offer you a cup. Or you're holding the cup for somebody. Maybe it's the one who's not communicating anything to you. I don't know. Super weird, Jim. Super weird. I'm just throwing down cards. Why the Wheel of Fortune reversed? Four cups reversed. Ignoring a cup. Either you ignored someone's cup or they ignored yours. It's unfinished business here. Something didn't close out. Six of Wands, attention. Trying to get someone's attention. Either you were trying to get somebody's attention or they were trying to get your attention. One more. Oh, 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 oh. Talk to me. Talk to me. You are more upside down than right side up by the look. No, you're right side up. Three cups. Oh, wow. Could have been a third party situation. Do I have any of the threes? I do. Could have been a third party situation. 
Now, a third party situation doesn't necessarily have to mean that there's a weird affair going on or anything like that and somebody's being cheated on. It can be a situation if it's resonate with you, you know what that situation is. If it's not, leave it alone. Person, place, thing, idea. Something didn't close out. There was unfinished business left hanging out there, possibly due to a third party situation. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Not beating the dead horse anymore. Justice reversed. Justice reversed. End of a painful cycle. Something wasn't fair. Something wasn't even. A playing field wasn't even. A sword dropped. Injustice. Something wasn't fair. Three of Pentacles reversed were reversed. Something didn't come together. There's still unfinished business. Something left unclosed. The painful cycle closed out with this, but the situation itself didn't. Something was left hanging out there in the past. Okay. Something was supposed to come together and be stable that didn't come together. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Why is the King of Wands here coming in for the future for Gemini? Why is the King of Wands here? Six of Swords reversed. I feel that's return. Returning to something for forward movement. And it's swords. Nine of cups. Taking a cup, giving a cup. Going back for the ninth, going back for the tenth cup. Why is the chariot reversed here? It's wands. Forward movement. Striking a match. We're wanting to, because that chariot's upside down. That chariot ain't moving. Mm. Two of Pentacles. Finding balance. Or juggling. One more. Star reversed. Mm, I don't like it. Possibly an opportunity to strike a match. Nothing's moving. There's juggling trying to make a decision. Why the star reversed? Why the star reversed? Knight of Swords reversed. No communication. You can't say it. Chariot stuck. You can't say it. Blocked communication. Communication still blocked for whatever reason. People aren't talking. People aren't talking. Okay. Can't say it. Can't say it. The communication's blocked. And that's why you can't say it or you don't know how to say it. One of the two. But there's a lack of healing here for whatever reason. Going back for the 10th cup. Full steam ahead. Dead in your tracks. Alright, let's go back down to the person you're dealing with. Seven of Pentacles here. Why is Seven of Pentacles here for the here and now? For the person that Gemini is dealing with. 
Nine of Swords reversed. Dave, they're sleeping better at night. Which leads me to believe that maybe they weren't in the past. The Tower. Yeah. Page of Swords. They're in some kind of tower energy. I'm not seeing that as catastrophe, though. I'm seeing that as sudden surprise. If you haven't heard from this person, you could hear from them very soon. You could probably hear that they... I don't know. You see, they got a seven of pentacles, but they got a, net, a seven of wands reversed over here. Which is like internal struggle. Why is the seven of wands reversed here? Why is the seven of wands reversed here? Patiently waiting for what? To the tower? Waiting for a surprise? Oh, hold on. Eight of Wands. Communication. <laughs> I just heard they're waiting for you to talk. That's funny. That's funny. Like, it's going to be a shock if you do. They're waiting for it, but they're going to be surprised when it happens. Okay, so internal battle over communication or forward movement? Seven of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. They're in pins and needles. What am I going to do? They're waiting for it. Nine of Wands reverse, but they've already thrown the towel in on this. They have. They've given up on this. So maybe they're in some kind of weird internal battle as to if they gave up too soon, if they should have waited longer. If they should have waited for the communication to come in. Maybe that's their internal struggle. I don't know. I don't know. That's super weird, though. Super weird. All right. Why is the Ace of Cups reversed here? Judgment reverse to a swords. That's a difficult decision. That's a difficult judgment call. Magician. The cup was spilled. It was over before it started. One more. Why two swords? See how it spun? Strength. They held back. They held back. They chose to two swords difficult choice either, either either hand you drop a sword's gonna drop I think they chose to drop this and to to manifest the strength to move forward and to hold back the cup was spilled there was a choice between trying to resurrect this or moving on and they chose to move on they chose to hold back and just be strong and move forward more on that. Two of Cups. Oh, man. They still feel the connection with you, though. They do. They felt it. Is it either the connection with you or it's a new connection with someone else? 
I'm not throwing another card on it though. <coughs> All right. Why is justice reversed here? Whoa! Hold up! Hold up! Hold on! Justice reversed. Justice reversed. You both felt like this wasn't fair. Like this wasn't just and the playing field wasn't level. Give me one on this justice reversed, please. Chariot. Hermit reversed. Oh gosh. They distanced themselves from this. That's screaming at me, Deep Hermit. They just split off. Not touching it, not dealing with it, leaving the playing field on level, dropping the sword, don't care if it's on level. One more. There is no light at the end of this tunnel. Shadow side. They saw this as toxic. They saw this as toxic. They broke free. I think they broke free before it became too toxic. One more. They had a little bit of an obsession problem. Four of Wands. And these two, the devil and the four of wands being next to each other, this was a very strong, strong spiritual connection. You guys are mirroring each other. This is a strong spiritual connection. This is like soulmate shit. Possibly toxic, very binding. Very binding. All right, we already got the here and now. Why is the fool here for the person Gemini is dealing with? Why the fool for the future? Immediate or not so distant future. Why the fool? Lovers reverse. Ten of Wands. Something about difficult choices here. The lovers can indicate a choice. The lovers reversed can indicate a difficult choice. The lovers reversed can indicate disconnecting. Staying disconnected. Ten of Wands releasing a burden. The fool going on a new path. One more. The sun, the six of pentacles. They want the sun to shine again. Yes, there's a soulmate connection here. Six of pentacles can also uh, indicate an energy match as well as an equal give and take situation. Why the six of pentacles? Oh my goodness. Keep hitting the floor, y'all. Keep hitting the floor. Land as it landed. Full reversed. They don't trust the path. They don't trust the path. So they're picking a new one. Not taking a leap of faith. Because they're on a new path. Why is the Three of Pentacles reversed here for the person Gemini is dealing with? For the not so recent or distant future? Five of Pentacles reversed. Empress reversed. That sounds a little self-sabotaging. 
they're, they're going to want to come out of the cold with you, but they don't want to reunite. They they don't, I don't think in the future they're going to think that th this could ever possibly grow. That anything is going to come out of it on a positive nature. That, you know, any, anything. They don't see it as abundant. How about that? Eight of Cups reversed. Why walk back toward it? Why the Eight of Cups reversed? This just got weird. Oh, Three of Wands. It's not time yet. It's not time yet. They're going to wait for the right time. I think in order for a return to happen here, someone needs to be shown that this can be abundant. And this can go somewhere. And this can grow. And this can expand. Because until then, they're going to wait it out. Because they're on a new path. Wow. Wow. Gem, I don't know who you're dealing with, but, um, uh... okay. Well, shoot. Okay. That was cheap. All right. I trust my knowing and make a commitment. That's the little saying down at the bottom of your card. I'm going to show the deck in a second. Okay. This is the Crystal Power Tarot. I picked this up last, last week. Um, I picked it up at Books A Million, but I'm sure it's available online if you look for it. Pretty amazing deck. I like the imagery. I like the colors. I like the sayings. Pretty awesome. So, all right get some message. No. No. I'm not pulling advice off the decks. I'm pulling out of here. That's what I'm doing for bonuses. Alright. I can get all the cards out of the box. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Losing track of what I'm doing. I've probably read way too many cards today. I got all my bonuses. Or all my bonuses. All my personals out of the way this afternoon. So... I'm a little drained. Sorry. I do what I gotta do when I got time to do it. Alright. Universe Source Spirit Guides. One more. Can I get some energy messages? From the Crystal Power Tarot for Gemini, please, for their summer bonus. Any little additional messages that you think they need to know that they can take with them on their journey through the rest of the summer. I'm afraid to, like, bow this out, so I'm trying to be super careful with it. Super pretty. Okay. Ah! Okay, it's still recording. Sorry, I ended up hitting the button. All right, where are we at? King of Wands. I am successful in all I do. So you just need to concentrate on that. You need to strive to be successful in all of your endeavors. Two of Pentacles, I calmly make the best possible decision. And that's what you need to do. You need to find your inner calm, settle your mind, settle your heart, use your intuition, 
and make the best possible decision for your highest good. You say it again, for your highest good. You need to do what is best for you. Gemini, I love you guys. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. I appreciate it wholeheartedly. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. And I will catch you guys next time. Happy summer.